Hey guys, MD Prepper here. This time another water purification review with iodine options. We're going to talk about the little potable agua tablets that you can get from just about any Walmart or sporting goods store out there for about five bucks or so, maybe six on the high end. More if you don't look around. Decent option, fairly cheap, fairly reasonable. We're of course going to compare them to the little potable agua chloride dioxide or chlorine dioxide tablets that I did a review on last night. These little tablets, again, iodine. If you're allergic to iodine, have problems with that, this is not going to be the purification method for you. But these are easy, accessible, relatively lightweight, incredibly portable in my opinion. I've used these plenty of times. These little small jars, canisters if you will, hold 50 tablets. It's two tabs per quart of water or liter, which are just about the same. Um, you need to let the thing sit for about five minutes to let the tablets dissolve and then shake it up a little bit, you know, thread the screws out of your canteen bottle if you have, have to do that, and uh, let it sit for half an hour. Then you've got drinkable water. Good stuff. Uh, reasonably timed, I would say, for 30 minutes. I don't think that's excessive. You know, you could camp, you know, hiking, all that sort of stuff, fill up your empty bottle, you know. Once you've drunk your clean water free, you can wait 30 minutes. You'll be fine. Unlike these little tablets here, which take four hours, which is absurd. Um, these do tend to leave a little bit of an iodine taste to them. I don't think that's a terribly huge deal. We'll talk about that in a second. Um, once you open this thing up, start using it, you probably want to use it pretty quick. It will, once exposed to oxygen, break down after a while. Uh, some of the stats I've seen, you know, anywhere between three to six months, something like that. These are unopened tablets, um, or containers rather. Um, Again, five fifty six bucks for 25 quarts of water. I don't think that's terrible, obviously, boiling, and there's all sorts of cheaper, better options. But for a little backup you know, option there, it's okay. So, 25 quarts. Uh, do the math, that comes down to 6.25 gallons. More than enough for most of your survival uses, 72-hour kits, camping kits, all that sort of thing. Um, cost effectiveness, again, this one with the extra little bottle here, which we'll talk about in a second. Six bucks versus ten bucks for the twenty quarts of little chlorine dioxide tablets. These are definitely better. Now these aren't individually packed or individually wrapped. You could of course pull a few of these out and put them in some tin foil, small little plastic container, something like that, something smaller, if you wanted to. This isn't much space. Even if you're an ultralight packer, this is nothing. Okay, I don't know how much this bottle actually weighs, but you won't notice it's there. Um, I would, of course, put it in my pack somewhere safe with some padding around it just in case I happen to fall and smash the glass bottle here. Not a huge issue, though. Uh, I've never had any problems with these overall. Now, extra little bottle. Not necessary. Uh, these are a relatively new addition. Used to just find these. But this stuff is called PA+. Plus. I guess it's Potable Agua Plus is what it's supposed to be. There you go. And you wonder, what is this? Well, they tell you that... You put this in the bottle after things are purified to neutralize the iodine taste or flavor if you don't like that. Again, I've never seen that to be an issue. If you don't want the iodine flavor, boil your water, use a filter, something like that. Again, I could carry twice as many of these without this bottle. Um, what is this? Ascorbic acid is what's on the inside of it. Now, if you know what ascorbic acid is, it's vitamin C. That's all this is. There's little vitamin C tablets, okay? No magic, nothing like that. Vitamin C has very good affinity for iodine, will bind to the iodine and drop it out of solution, so thereby removing the flavor. Now you don't obviously want to use this as you're purifying the water because it's not going to get you anywhere. You let things run 30 minutes, 45 minutes, after that you add these in there, let them dissolve, slosh around a little bit, good to go. It's going to remove all the iodine and the sediment in the bottom. Um, now, if you don't want to use this stuff, you don't want to buy this, you know, they seem to come together these days, but you can just take a little vitamin C tablet from your uh, medicine cabinet, you know, take a little bit of it, grind it up a little bit, smash it a bit, put some part particulate in your bottle. That's going to be fine. You could probably use the extra vitamin C. Whatever. Uh, I don't think this is necessary. It's a luxury. Um, it depends on how much you want to, you know, pack. So, around the house, I probably wouldn't even bother using these. I'd probably take a vitamin C tablet and save this bottle for later. Um, decent pro uh, product though. I like my Polar Pure better, my little iodine Polar Pure jar. That's going to do a whole lot more water for cheaper. Um, again, you got five bucks or so for 6.25 gallons. I've got a few thousand gallons out of my Polar Pure for 20 bucks. You know, 
a little different use, a little bigger jar, uh, you know, not as lightweight, but overall much better product in my mind, you know, for any kind of long-term use. These are fine for camping and all that, but, you know, you want to prep for a major outage, something like that, uh, disaster, I would probably go for the Polar Pure over this. Uh, for size considerations availability, this is the way to go. Uh, you saw my other video, hopefully, on this stuff, uh, potable agua chlorine dioxide tablets, these things just aren't practical. They're just not that usable in my mind. Uh, I like the fact that they're individually wrapped in all of that, you know, look like little condom wrappers, I guess. But um, four hours to uh, be effective, that's just excessive. I could boil water in any number of methods quicker than that. Um, you know, I just can't think of too many reasons to use this other than just have it for emergency backup. My backup to my backup, if you will. Um, I guess those are okay for that. But anyway, um, five bucks, portable odd little tabs. You can get these just about anywhere. Walmart sells them, etc. Sometimes they're sold under the Coleman brand. I think I saw that today at Walmart. You know, other type of brands. They're all the same stuff. They're tetraglycine hydroperiodide, which is what purifies your water. So, there we go. Cheap, easy, effective. Highly recommend them. I've Got, oh, I don't know, maybe a dozen of these bottles laying around. Just thought I'd do a review on them since I've been talking about water filtration, purification, and you know, drinking water methods recently. Indie Prepper, out.